Hey everyone, what is up? General Grant here, and today we are going to be talking about Sweatcoin. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you can probably tell that I've done Sweatcoin videos in the past, and over like rewards, things like that. If you're not familiar, feel free to check those out if you have some interest. Now, today I want to talk about kind of where I'm at, you know, how many coins I have after over a year of using Sweatcoin. So, I've been using Sweatcoin for quite a while now. My first video that I mentioned it with has was, you know, from January last year. So it's March now, it's a considerable amount of time has passed. Um, so you'd think I would have a good amount of coins built up and should be able to get a lot of good rewards, hopefully is the goal of it after a year. Um, so I have currently 1100 sweat coin and 356 of that is something somebody sent me. So somebody I know had the app, they decided, hey, I'm not gonna waste my time anymore. And they just sent me the 356 sweat coins. So, Realistically, I had 757 that I earned, but um, I also did, you know, as I mentioned, I got some rewards from it, like uh, the Soylent, a little protein bar, stuff like that. But uh, all in all, it wasn't a whole lot of, you know, sweat coins that I was spending. So, you know, with that, you'd think, okay, well, can you get something decent for the 757? And, you know, here's where I'm with the, at with the app. You know, they offer little prizes on their website, like, oh, I thought, okay, iPhone X, PayPal Cash, you know, some footwear credit. Well, I'll tell you what, you need 20,000 sweat coin for the, any of these good ones. And the $50 shoe credit, you're still going to have to pay probably $100 for the damn pair of shoes. Now, if you look on the app itself, you have different things like, oh, you can get PayPal, $50 PayPal for 3,600 sweat coin. Well, you know, we went over this. I'm only at 1,100, so that's going to take me another three years at least to be able to get. $50 from PayPal through them. I mean, there's other options like Amazon gift cards, Forever 21, but it's the same thing, 3,600 sweat coin. So um, it's really hard to achieve that. And, uh, you know, otherwise it's kind of even worse offers like some weight loss vest, um, little grocery subscription thing, I imagine, which, you know, you probably have to pay 200 bucks a month for your damn meal preps anyways that they're going to want you to sign up for. And, uh, oh, you know, a dieting nap. Great. What a treat, you know. You spend all this time walking and getting these sweat coins and you get all these amazing options. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with the app. A little one-year update I figured I wanted to do. And um, yeah, you know, I don't think it's really paying off that well. Um, and I, you know, I end up walking quite a bit in my day-to-day -day life. I'm a college student, so I'm walking across campus a lot, to and from parking lots, things like that. I'm pretty active. But um, in my average life, I, you know, I don't estimate that the average person, I guess I should say, is going to be getting more than 1,500 sweat coin a year. So, um, you know, maybe two, three years you can get a, a gift card if sweat coin's even around in two or three more years. And if, you know, you want to keep kind of wasting your time in a way, even though it's not that much waste, but yeah. So, all right, guys, they'll wrap up this video. I don't want to rant on too long, but um, yeah, that's a little update of where I'm at with Sweatcoin one year later. So if you like this video, um, be sure to like it, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone.